right, Scorpio. So this is the underlying theme, which is the Seven of Swords. And I feel like there's a need for clarity or there may be, uh, you know, this has come up for quite a few signs. And uh, some of this clarity may have something to do with your past, especially with being in Merc with uh, Mercury retrograde. You know, it's so interesting. This Nine of Wands, I think, has come up for three. You're like the third reading that this card has showed up for, if not possibly even the fourth uh, sign that this card has showed up for. And so this is also, I almost feel like be careful of hastiness or there may be some delays in something ending uh, because I feel like you may have to go a bit backwards to go forwards. Or there's another way that I'm reading this is that there's not just delays, but a need to put the brakes on a situation and really look at things uh, more clearly um, to, to figure out what it is that you do want. Um, I feel like there is, things are going to start calming down most likely by the end of September. And uh, I believe the retrograde ends, you know, on the 22nd. And I usually give like five day shadow period for um, that. So, um, you know, around the 27th. Um, I, I feel like some of you are very much coming close to the cycle ending here with the nine of wands it's 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 like you're almost there we also have a 10 here the 10 of cups and things beginning to transition especially with the death card and things moving towards more calmer waters um and so i feel like if there's an extension. I'm getting like the feeling of an olive branch. So this could be you extending something or someone else extending something to you. Um, and it's so interesting how it's, uh, there's been a battle of some kind. Um, and this is definitely with uh, the death card here that there's a new beginning, there's change, there's transformation coming in. It's a transition period. And I love how when I look at this, you know, it's like a skeleton and then it, you know, you're getting fulfilled again. It's like there's growth. So out of something that's been vacant or missing, something is trying to step in and either take its place or, uh, you know, this could be even self-fulfillment in some way. Uh, there could be definitely challenges, I feel, with, um, this could be definitely in the workplace. But I also feel that this is challenges in terms of addiction. Um, whether it's addiction or thinking a lot about a person, a situation, definitely could also be um, that there's issues that possibly are getting in the way of work. So an addiction could be affecting the workplace. It could also be um, uh, affecting your marriage or a relationship, a love relationship or... Um, you know, there's a need to let go of some toxicity or toxic situation or a person. And, um, but, you know, this often comes across to me as uh, marriage. So there could be some challenges or, you know, somebody is contemplating, you know, do I want to hang in here? How much more of this situation can I take or because I feel like some of you there could be an offer of some kind now this could be an offer in terms of work but I feel like this is an offer um, possibly for someone going away for like a rehab uh, this may be uh, yeah because I feel like this goes back to an addiction or some toxicity um, whether it's, you know, food, sex, drinking, drugs, whatever. 
Um, Because there's a feeling of needing to see things for what they are. I just feel like somebody is hiding something. And it's affecting a situation adversely. It's not um, allowing something to emerge or grow. I mean, uh, we have the, the page of pentacles here. So this to me can mean, um, you know, you have to look at the big picture, focus on the long term and progress, not the short term. Because sometimes when we look at things short term, we, um, we don't see the full picture or how we are affecting a situation or how we are affecting our lives or other people's lives. Um, so I think gaining, it's like looking at something from a different perspective is going to help give you clarity. There may be a decision too, because we do have a, uh, king and a knight. There may be a situation that, uh, you're kind of going back and forth on. There could be somebody, well, we also have a knight here. There may be a situation involving three people. Um, and there's a decision to be made, uh, between the three. You might be part of the three. Could be that somebody from your past has returned. Um, they're kind of trying to make amends. Um, it could be that somebody in your life has gotten in touch with somebody from their past and it's affecting your relationship. It's affecting your union. Uh, in some way, or it's not allowing it to grow and move forward. So I think what's going to help is to kind of to to take a a, a step aside, and um, some of you may be actually moving uh, or moving away from the situation. May even be like a short trip, a short like a weekend, maybe a weekend back home. Uh, whatever home means to you to gain some clarity on what is going on. Um, you know, the Six of Cups has been coming up um, a lot. And there may be something from the past that really needs to get resolved. So that these, you know, the number three, the if it's a three-party situation, does get reduced to a two. Um, there's something from the past. It could be even karmically speaking. That I think that um, is kind of stuck. It's there's a need to kind of let go of this, or at least resolve it in some way, because it's not uh, it's not finished complete with completing the process. Um, and I think by the end of September, you'll be there. May still be some hiccups or some ups and downs, but it becomes a little bit more manageable. Um, so I think, uh, that you will gain some clarity and, um, and move out of this, you know, battle, whether it's a battle within, um, or a battle with somebody else. This definitely could be, like I said earlier, um, with the number three it could even be in business in partnerships. Um, there may also be a delay in terms of, uh, I'm gain I feel like gaining knowledge or maybe going to school. Maybe somebody has put something off for a semester because they're dealing with some other things, maybe dealing with some addictions or, you know, um, but I think what's important here is that um, that you see like the forest through the trees, that you see, that you gain clarity, that you look at something. Um, and uh, because there may be, like I said, a sense of betrayal, um, you know, choose your battles wisely. This could even be battles, like I said, within your own thoughts of what you should do. And taking time away or taking a step back will be helpful. So, you know, it's going to be different for everybody. Um, some of it for you is, is definitely moving on, moving away, 
moving forward and you somebody may be coming in to help you with that there may be some support this could be a male or female could also i mean you're a water sign so the in cups represent water cancer pisces scorpio um uh, so it could be somebody coming in it could also be very much you getting in touch with that water side um you know transcending is is kind of the word that i'm getting so that you are kind of back on your feet could also be that you know uh, i don't know you know with the retrograde there could be something that, like a spiritual battles that some of you may be dealing with so i feel like it's important if you do spiritual work to be grounded and maybe do some extra protection, especially if you do any readings, because um, there's a lot of energy, not just your past, especially here, um, and uh, but also dealing with others, other people's past that you may be reading for, and that. Um, so I think what's going to help is to gain clarity um, and not to get stuck in the past. And I think some, uh, quite a few of you will get out of it. The more that you're able to kind of clear the air or, you know, get rid of what is not needed, um, see things for what they are, the more it's going to help you. So, those are the messages I'm getting for you, Scorpio. Um, I, I feel that uh, there could be, with these cards here, I want to say this, because we do have the Devil and then the Hierophant, which, of course, is uh, represented here as the Pope. And there, I feel like there could be some uh, spiritual, like I said earlier, a little bit of warfare going on. So... Um, but this is, this can be read so many different ways. I feel like there is something that needs to be unearthed, dealt with, and the truth needs to be looked at. Um, and by, you know, some of you will be traveling. 